All right, so we just talked all about ghosts and uh, the Connecticut ghost lady who wrote all about it. Now I am here with Glenn and TJ. Glenn, who I said has the biggest hands I've ever, ever. Look at these hands. I want, <laughs> if there is a ghost, I want you with me. And well, TJ, thank you. Well, like I said. <laughs> so you actually approach, you are a part of the Mid-Connecticut or Mid-Con Paranormal Investigators. Quite, yeah. So when people think that they are hearing more than just bumps in the night, they call you, and for free, you go in to try and determine if it is really a spirit. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, Good we choice. don't charge. We're non-profit. Um, you know, we just say to be a little leery if there's a group out there charging. Um, we don't go into any investigation automatically thinking it's paranormal. We try to debunk it, you know, science, if there's anything with the house first. Exactly. And you're unlike some of the other guests we've had. You're not clairvoyant. You're no. not seeing nope. them. You're using actual technology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and how are you going to be able to tell, using all this, if there is a ghost? Uh, well, we do have pictures that you guys are going to show, I believe, and some EVPs. Yeah. Let's show um, some of the photography you've captured. What's this? That's a face. That's oh, a, I see it that's now. That's a Civil War hospital in Cromwell. Yeah. Okay, and you capture that with a camera? Yep. Or what's yep. that? That's somebody down at the hallway. It's not one of our investigators. So that, that figure, which I clearly see like a person, exactly. was not there. No. Right, right. Okay. What's that this? one there, if you can see it, it's a lady through the beam looking right at us. Oh my gosh. Right. Is that, this is all at the hospital? This is all the Civil War yeah. Hospital, correct. Okay, is that vacant now? It is. So, it is. Yep. The, but just, it's long rumored to have been haunted, so you went there to investigate. Correct. Exactly. Yep. Um, and people think ghosts that get scared. In your experience, it's not always something that's there that's demonic or there to hurt you. No, no. A uh, perfect example, we did one in East Long Meadow, Mass, um, and the client just wanted to know who it was. He felt warm. And, you know, just to show that he wasn't crazy, we caught an EVP with him that I don't have with us today. But um, he said, you know, I don't want you to leave. I just want to know who it is. And then we heard in the background, I'm your friend. Okay. Yeah, because if you're going to have dinner with them every night, you might as well know who they are, yeah, right? Exactly. Right. So, Tito, tell us, yeah. I mean, a lot of us have these cameras at home, and I've heard about psychic photography. How are you going to, why can you pick up things on a camera or with the, that we can't pick up normally? Um, go ahead, yeah. You can explain this. Well, I mean, what happens is the electricity, you know, the static electromagnetic electric, electricity uh, forms on the camera or in a picture. Okay. And the same with the digital recorders. You can't hear it with your own ears, but it records uh, sounds that we can't hear with our own ears. Okay. So we don't necessarily see anything when we're on investigation. It's when we review the evidence when we get back home is where we see all the evidence. Uh, but they're regular things. I mean, this is a computer. This is it's just the ability we're going to be able to magnify it beyond our normal right. human sight and senses. I mean, like the camera's been modified um, for uh, full spectrum. What is that? Full spectrum. It goes oh, with over this there light. in the picture. Oh, that's a face inside the window. Is that at the hospital again? That's at the hospital. <laughs> I do have some in there, I believe. That's another one there. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Oh, okay. What, what yeah, about one in the back there, yeah. One in the back. All right, so. That's actually, do you see that right there? It looks a little demonic, like an elephant. That is at the uh, Marlboro Tavern. Yeah. We did that at, at the, the Marlboro last, Tavern. Yeah, oh, good. The last night they were open. <laughs> My medicine, <laughs> Carol. So, TJ, how will you uh, determine, and do you find that most of the time you're determining to people that there isn't a spirit, or most of the time you're determining that there is? It depends. Sometimes you, you find out that uh, it's something to do with the house, uh, or sometimes, and you know, when we actually go back and review the information, we're going to actually hear an EVP. And at that point, you know, we go back to the customer and tell them we actually found something. We play it back for them, or or if we didn't find anything, we could pretty much you know, you know, pretty much talk about uh, it could be a roof issue, it could be some kind, something with the foundation. Okay. So we try to rule out what, what, what's really going on there. All right, so we're going to have all the information on our website, Better CT, but just give a shout out. How do people get in touch with you if they're worried? Um, they want to have an investigation. You go on our website, uh, midcomparanormal.com. Midcomparanormal. Um, and you pr periodically have events so people can come and learn yep, a little bit? Absolutely. Okay. Um, we'll be right <laughs> back. No, stop it! <laughs> Again. <laughs> Can you please go investigate him? Yeah. I have big guys protecting me. You're watching Better Connecticut. We're going to have the very latest on Winter Storm Alfred 2 coming up. Ridiculous. <laughs>